Welcome into the K0LWC Ham Shack. I got something special for you today that I've been wanting to try for a while. This is the ever popular Baofeng UV9R Pro. This is a dual band amateur radio, handheld radio. And this is super popular with hikers, preppers, and just amateur radio operators that are just getting started. Now, this radio, according to Baofeng, has an IP67 rating. An IP67 rating is better than an IP65 or 66, which would be more of a water resistant rating, whereas IP67, like they claim with this radio, should be waterproof, and it does say waterproof right here on the speaker, so let's hope they're right, but it should be waterproof for being submerged fully in water for up to 30 minutes down to one meter or three feet deep. So, does Baofeng's engineering live up to the marketing hype? Let's find out. As you're watching this test, go down and click the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Now, this radio we're gonna test in two ways. I'm not even concerned about rainwater and just going outside in a rain shower. It's gonna be just fine. We're gonna do two submersion tests. One is gonna be a quick submersion test and the other is a more long-term submersion test. So the first submersion test is just gonna simulate if you accidentally drop your radio on the ground in a puddle, in a river, something like that, and you quickly and can easily go and grab it. So it's in there for five, six, seven seconds and you pick it up. That is gonna be our first test. Is it gonna survive? We're about to find out. And helping us with this very important uh, test and demonstration is something I call the bucket of water. So this is the water we're gonna use uh, straight from my sink. Um, all right, so I have the radio powered on. Uh, you'll see that like you would if you were carrying it. So let's give it a quick dunk. All right, we'll go one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000. We'll call that a five, 1,000. All right, let's go ahead and pull it out and see what we got. All right, I'm just literally shaking the water off this radio. So here we go. Uh, everything looks fine. I don't see any water intrusion inside of the case. I did notice the battery back here did light up green as soon as I put it in the water. So there is USB-C charging on this battery and that's a little bit of a concern. Uh, but overall, Everything seems to be working as I would expect. Let's go ahead and give the radio a test. Uh, I do have my uh, Kenwood D710 here cranked up and listening on a frequency. Let's go ahead and test it and see how it sounds. K0LWC testing. And as expected, you know, when you get these uh, radios submerged, the water gets into the mic element and it will sit over the top of the element and it sounds really muffled and really low audio gain. And that's across every radio I've ever tested like this. So that's completely normal. Let's try the test the other way and see if I can hear my uh, Kenwood D710 here on the Baofeng UV9R Pro. One, two, three, four. Yep, working just fine. And again, don't see any major problems. Uh, looks like it survived the quick submersion test. But now, let's go to the more longer duration test. And I'm not even going to go the full 30 minutes, which is what it is rated for. We are going to put it in here for 15 minutes. And through the magic of editing, you're going to see that happen really, really quick. All right, let's do our next test with the longer duration 15 minute submersion test. Again, the radio is turned on. Let's dunk it in the bucket of water. I'll see you in 15 minutes. All right, I'm already noticing some interesting stuff. I just want to quickly show you. I'll see if I can show it here. Take a look at the radio. See those bubbles? That has me concerned that there is water getting into the case somewhere. Now remember, this is supposed to be 30 minutes at three feet. This is not even a foot, really. Um, and I'm already seeing some bubbles. So I'm wondering, okay, where are those bubbles coming from? Is it actually getting into the case? It's coming out of the emergency button at the top. All right, it hasn't been 15 minutes. It's been more like three to four minutes. So let's take a look at what we got. Uh, there's the radio. Uh, and again, I, the bubbles have kind of stopped which there's a few that just popped up like that one, but they've mostly stopped. So let's go ahead and take it out and see what we have going on. I'll tell you, it feels a little heavier. It's got me concerned. All right. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, um, I don't know. Do you think this is supposed to be like this? I don't think so. Yeah, um, it's dead. It's not powering on. Uh, nothing's working. Water is coming out of this thing like crazy. Let me go ahead and open up the uh, the battery pack and see if it's got in the back of the battery. 
And yet we do see water intrusion actually inside the battery compartment. If you look close here on the back, you'll see some specks of moisture in there. So it did actually get past the battery into the case itself. And I'll tell you, when I was watching this the last couple of minutes, there's two places where I noticed um, air sneaking out of the case as water was obviously coming inside. Again, the emergency button was one. And the other one was right back here in the back uh, where kind of this black plastic meets the green plastic. That was another space where there was tons of bubbles coming out so yeah now I have what looks like a lake where my screen should be so what's the verdict is the UV9R Pro waterproof um, absolutely not it is not waterproof it is not IP67 um, yeah so it can withstand a short you know quick drop in the water but nowhere near what they claim it's certified for I am shocked that they are not being truthful uh, with what they're saying this is capable of. Because again, this should be fine for up to 30 minutes at three feet. So the pressures inside of the bucket of water is nothing like you would get at two feet or three feet. So uh, the fact that this happened in the matter of just a minute or two is just crazy. So all I can tell you is if you have one of these or you're thinking about it, it's not waterproof. It can go outside in the rain. It could probably go outside in a heavy thunderstorm. But after that, um, you might end up with something like this. So does this surprise you? Let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Say a prayer for this fallen Baofeng that is now out of service. I'll catch you again next time.